Hi, this is Amal from SSLTrust.com Australia and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to successfully install an SSL certificate on Centora. So, let's get started. So, this is uh, website that we are hosting on Centora and I have not yet uploaded any files to this. This is the default index.html file. And as you can see, the website is not yet secure and we're going to make sure it is. This is the Centora admin panel on our server. So let's get going. So the first step in this process is to generate a certificate sign -in request or CSR and a private key. For that, we are going to scroll to the bottom of the page. And then click on CSR and Key Generator under Tools and Services. Or you can search on Google, SSL Trust CSR Generator, and arrive at this page. Basically, a CSR or Certificate Sign-In Request is nothing but a request initiated by you, the client, to the Certificate Authority, which contains all the necessary information, such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in a hashed form. On the technical side, it also contains the public key, which will be signed by the certificate authority and returned to you in the issued certificate. So now scroll down and fill in these details real quick. Type in your domain name without the www. Name of your organization. The organization unit such as IT, your city, your state or province, choose your country, type in your email address, and then for Rootland, we're going to go with 2048 bit, which is the industry standard, and then click on generate CSR. So this is your private key and your CSR right here. Now it is recommended that you save this on your computer, preferably in a text editor to make sure that we can upload our private key as a file. And in case you need to redo the configuration, your certificate won't work without this. So keep that in mind. It is best to save it. So we're going to copy this from the very start to the very end and then open notepad, paste it right here and I'm going to save it on my desktop as private dot key which will be the file extension then click on save so I'm going to close this up for now and keep this window open okay so the next step in this process is to purchase and configure our SSL certificate so I'm on the SSL Trust homepage, and as you can see, SSL Trust has established partnerships with all the leading SSL certificate authorities. And if you scroll down, you'll see that we have SSL certificates for all your needs. Whether you want to secure a single website, whether you want to show higher security and authenticity with a business SSL, or you want to show the green address bar in the browser, you have the premium EVSSL for you. Wildcard SSL certificates to secure unlimited subdomains and multi-domain SSL certificates to secure up to 500 domains under a single SSL certificate. If you're not sure which SSL certificate is best suited to your needs, you can always contact our sales team at SSL Trust and they'll be happy to help you out. For now, we're going to go with a standard SSL certificate since this is a demo video. Let's go with the common positive SSL. Choose the duration of your certificate. Click on checkout. Fill in your details real quick. Choose your preferred method of payment. And then once you do that, click on complete order. Once you have completed your order, you can head back to the SSL Trust dashboard and select your purchased SSL certificate. You can start the SSL configuration or alternatively, 
you can provide the following URL to the person doing the configuration for you. So we'll name this ourselves. And now we are gonna need to copy and paste our certificate signing request from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes. Copy and paste it right here. Click on verify CSR. And all the details that are good, just as we inputted them. Server type, you're gonna go with Apache, since that is what is available on Centaur. And then click on next step. Once you do that, put in your details real quick. Now we have a technical individual request for you. Please mention their details here. Otherwise, use admin contact and then next step. So now comes an important part of the process, which is domain control validation. So basically, you need to prove to the certificate authority, which in this case is Sectical, that you own your domain name and have complete access to it. So domain control validation is the lowest form of validation there is, and you just have to verify the ownership of your domain name. Now we can do this in one of three methods, namely the email method in which you will need to have one of these five email addresses upon which you will be sent an email which should contain a link. When you click on it, that should validate your domain name and you should be issued your SSL certificate. The second method is the HTTP file method. So in this method, you're gonna to need to create a text file with this exact name and that text file you are going to need to paste in these contents and then upload them on your server but before that you need to keep in mind that you will need to create these directories on your server and then upload this file there so just make sure that this is the path of that file and then click on check file to see whether your file is displayed on the internet and Sectigo is able to verify your ownership. The third or the method that we're going to use is the CNAME record validation method. So basically you are going to need to head to your DNS settings with either your domain name provider or your hosting provider depending on where you've pointed your name servers to. So let me log into my DNS settings real quick. Okay, so I'm here on my DNS settings. We're going to add a new record right here. Type is going to be CNAME. Back to the configuration window and copy the CNAME record value entirely. And then paste it right here in the host box. Do the same for the CNAME value. Copy. Paste it right here. And then click on save. So once you do that, you can click on the check DNS record button right here to check the propagation of your DNS record. Click on search. And this should take some time from two minutes up to an hour, depending on your DNS service propagation speed. So just be a little patient. In the meanwhile, you can come back to the configuration window and then click on submit configuration. So as you can see, our configuration is a success. This is our order number and our status is that we are waiting validation. So access the validation manager. So as you can see, our domain control validation is complete. The process was rather quick. This might take a few minutes up to an hour for you personally for this process to complete. So just keep coming back here to the domain control validation manager and click on this drop down and then select your method of validation and then click on submit. This will refresh things on Sectigo's end and you will be issued your certificate much quicker. And if you're not able to find the validation window, you can always come back to the SSL Rush dashboard, select your SSL certificate, and then there'd be a button here called Access Validation Manager. You can click on that and access the validation manager from there. Let's close this up. Okay, so now that our certificate has been issued, we can click or download the certificate right here. Now we have to select the format as individual certificate files with a .cer extension. Click on download certificate. 
I'll save it on my desktop. So I'm going to extract these to the desktop. Now that we have four of our main SSL certificates here, you can delete the root certificate. We don't need that. And what we can do is open the intermediate certificate. Open with Notepad. And as you can see, this uh, intermediate zero SSL certificate file. What we're going to do now is to open the intermediate one, the second one. Open it with Notepad. Copy it from the very start to the very end, including all dashes. Control A, Control C. Close this up. And I'm going to create, I'm going to concatenate both these files. That is, merge them together to create one individual intermediate certificate. Control S. So let's call it set main. This is the main SSL certificate. You can delete this. And this will be our intermediate certificate, which contains both of our intermediate certificates. So these two certificates are ready. Now we can head over to Centora. And this is the dashboard. So log it as root. And then scroll down to S Encrypt SSL under Domain Management. Click on this button. Scroll down and click on third party SSL certificates. And then click on Installed Signed Certificate. So now choose your domain name. Now we are going to choose a private key which we have saved before. So do that. Your main certificate, which is going to be set main in a .cr extension. We have done that. And then the intermediate certificate, the merged intermediate certificate, which we just created. Upload it here and then click on save. As you can see, our SSL certificate has been uploaded. It will be active in about five minutes. So we're going to wait a bit for uh certificate to be active on our website okay so it has been about five minutes and the server must have restarted in the background so what we can do now is head over to https colon double slash your domain name dot com and as you can see our connection to the site is now secure our certificate is valid and we have successfully installed an ssl certificate on our website in Centora. So one more thing you can do is head over to a website called SSLLabs.com to check the strength of SSL encryption on your website. So test your server, copy your URL, paste it right here, and then click on submit. Okay, so this took a while, but we are done with the SSL Labs test. And as you can see, we have got an overall rating of A. The TLS protocols look good. The service rates look good. So basically, if you get an overall rating of A, this means that your site is super secure and the SSL certificate is working up to industry standards. I, ho I hope you were able to install an SSL certificate on Centura after following this video. If not, there is a written guide in the very description of this video to help you throughout the process. So you can refer to that. And if you have any questions, please put them in the comments below. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And thanks for watching.